You are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comm spike module installed as well. Oh, is that all? And here I thought this was going to be a challenge. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, Board the legacy, and bring us the cash. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Get moving before it's too late. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the Legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. You just watch your butt out there. Sysdef might... Be on your six. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install.
sounds like fun. Let's see what I've got. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. the Crimson Fleet go. We'll all support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Those yes, sir. Look like fools when we take the legacy from under there you go. I'm going to make this short and simple. I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled on Neo. You opened fire inside Genadai, a civilian facility. This is completely unacceptable. Are you out of your mind? Unacceptable. There are always alternatives. I've tried to be patient with you, but my patience and your time with Sister is at an end. You're under arrest. I expect you to follow Lieutenant Toff to the brig peacefully, or else we'll have to use lethal force. Do you understand? Do you understand what you've done here? If you think for one moment I'm going to allow you to continue under my command, then you've seriously underestimated my judgment. You're being removed from this ship and transferred to prison, where you'll pay for your crimes. Lieutenant Toff will explain all of the details. Sorry it's come to this, but 
you left me no choice. A wise decision on your part. By order of Commander Kibwe Akande, you are hereby under arrest. You are now stripped of all privileges befitting a member of UC Sysdef, and you will be immediately remanded to prison on Jemison. Any attempt to return to the ship will be considered a hostile act and you will be fired upon. Get off my ship! I trust we have learned. Atlantis puts on a wonderful show of security, does it not? Achieving orbit now.
aquí.
Any adventure you can fly away from. This, this, the damage done here certainly indicates we are not the first to find this ship. Never one that is functional. This must be decades old.
Do they have anything of value? Recording initiated. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks? Who the hell knows? Food packs for my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me, and Issa wins. What a clever woman. <laughs> I never saw it coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. I only hope she doesn't run the whole operation right into the ground. <sighs> anyway, let me just sit down in this chair. <sighs> yeah, there we go. I've got a 
face the inevitable. This is where I'm spending my final days. Hopefully, someone with at least half a brain will follow in my footsteps and bring this score home to the Crimson Fleet. If anyone finds this message, <laughs> tell Issa that I don't blame her for what she's done. Most important, tell her to keep the fleet strong. Crew recording terminated. Detected. Automated recording system activated. Legacy, come in. This is Issa Melant. Are you there, Legacy? Holy shit. Issa, is that you? Issa, I I'm here. I yes, I can read you. Jasper Creeks, <laughs> you're still alive? You always were one tough son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm alive. No thanks to you. A month? Really? You left me to sit here and panic for a month. We said you'd wait a week. Tops! Wait a moment. I, I think broadcasting from outside the EM field is interfering with my comms. Did I just hear Jasper Creeks the Great admit that he was panicking about something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how about we cut the crap and you get my ass out of here? Come on, there has to be millions of credits here. We're rich. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to pass. Right before you left, remember how you temporarily placed me in charge of the fleet? Well, right then I decided to make the job permanent. <laughs> All I had to do was make some alterations to your sheeting plans. Mainly the footnotes where the lead technician mentions it needs more work. I even paid a tech to ensure a few of your ship's power connections were dodgy, just in case. <laughs> Yet, look at you now. Frankly, I'm surprised those shields held long enough for you to make it through the storm. What the hell? You can't do this to me. I'm in charge of the fleet. How dare you? Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, I thought I was clear. I'm in charge. You're dead. Well, I won't tell everyone that. I'll spin some story about you running off into the sunset with loot in hand. Oh, very romantic. The fleet will eat it up. You don't care about the credits? Isn't that what this is all about? Fleet is family, remember? If we can't depend on each other, then what the fuck is the point? You idiot, don't you get it? Boarding the Legacy is a one-way journey. The technology simply doesn't exist to pull off your stupid eyes. And don't quote me the fleet's motto. I listened to that bullshit for years while you made deals and cut me out of them. You call that family? You know what? I'm glad you're alive. It's given me a chance to say goodbye. So, uh... Goodbye? There. All done. Isa? Isa, are you still there? Answer me. Crew recording terminated. Recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of and I end up right where I started. Oh, here I thought I was so clever. 
Thought I had it all figured out. First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. <sighs> I can't believe I came all this way, just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually, wait a second, Isa. Isa will figure it out. I, I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait until she figures out that something's gone wrong. Then she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I should uh, start rationing my food. I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording terminated.
Don't stand there looking stupid. Everything's going to hell and Delgado needs you in operations. Oh yeah? You think? Ikande is throwing everything he's got at us, but we're planning on pushing his sorry ass all the way back to Jemison. That is unless you want to keep standing here talking while the Vigilance puts its crosshairs on us. Even smells like deceit. We should make our business quick. I don't know if you've heard, but Sis Def's decided to pay us a little visit. Shot. Don't these Sis Def fools ever learn? I hope you do not have any loose cred sticks. I fully expect you would find them missing when we leave here. It? That is Grix's legacy? Dios mío. I can't believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Del. You know, there were moments, doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real, that I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaruf. And everything changed. And now, here it is. Grix's legacy. Our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. This day will go down in history. And so will you. But it's not over yet. Now, only one thing stands in our way. The Vigilance. Speak of the devil. Jazz, what is the situation? Looks like the Kande is starting to move. Typical sea stiff. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. You understand he is a man who finds it very difficult to accept a loss. Ikande doesn't give a damn. He doesn't need the legacy. He's just terrified what we'll do with all the credits. That is, if we survive this encounter and get to spend them. Those first few Sistef ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. 
They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's heart and shielding. We lose those batteries, we lose everything. Precisely, so we can't afford to screw this up. Jazz, lay the plan out for us. We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other. So you'll have to jump to each one individually. You see any Sistev ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Crix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away. I don't care what you think. Now that the legacy is here, I'm not letting it slip through my fingers. Receiving a cut of those credits is the only thing that is convincing the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives to defend the key. Hey, if it's any help, you can count on one hell of a party when you get back. Amen, Jazz. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the Vigilance. We'll tear apart the shields, board the ship, and bring Ikande to his knees. Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck.
very pissed off flagship. All right, this is it. All ships fall back! Defend the key! Crimson Fleet, this is Commander Ikande of the UC Vigilance. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. You heard him. Six steps here for a visit. All ships, show them how we do things around here!
taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? Boarding detected! Multiple contacts! All exit defense stations, drive them back! And shut off the damn alarm!
over here. Hurry! Hey! There you are! This is a far cry from enforcing debts in Sidonia, am I right? Damn right it's good to see me. I'm about to hook your sorry ass up a second time. So, section ahead's a bit tricky. Comchatter says Sistef's about to hit us with a squad of heavily armed troops. I've hacked all their bots and turrets to give us some backup. Or if you want to move fast, I can find you a way around instead. How you want to play this? No problem. You just focus on the door at the end of the hall. I'll keep everything else locked down. Give up already.
allow the vigilance to fall into the hands of the Crimson Fleet. Why are you even bothering to talk? We should drop this asshole right now. Lower your weapon, Jillian. Are you out of your mind? Why? It would be pointless. I have activated the Vigilance's self-destruct. It won't be long before this ship and everyone who remains aboard are going to be incinerated. I am not killing anyone. The destruction of this vessel and the deaths of everyone aboard falls on your shoulders. Whatever caused you to side with these lawless pirates, I hope it was worth it. Because I need you to look me in the eye and tell me what motivates a person to cast aside all of their morals. Like the circumstances you've created here, I think you owe me that much. I hoped you'd give me some insight, some reason why things ended up this way. But I suppose that was too much to expect. In light of what's about to happen to us, I suppose it doesn't matter. And why would I do that? When you put it that way, does seem pointless. No, I am not. You forced me into this position. That's where you're wrong. This is not a sacrifice. Those who remain are likely already dead. This is vengeance. So no, I will not comply. This isn't just about the Vigilance or getting revenge on the fleet. I believe the galaxy is safer without you in it. And I will do everything in my power to remove you from it. Take him down. Secured this ship. It was pretty easy once all the Marines took off. Wanna sweep the area, just in case? I'm done here. Rook, I'll meet you back on the key.
got something for me? I have had enough dealings with the Crimson Fleet to know that we should both be very, very aware of our surroundings right now. Good job. You did it! You actually pulled it off! Didn't I tell you, Dale? I told you there was something different about this rook! Oh my god, Nave. You're so full of shit. What? I just call it like I see it, Jazz. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I seem to remember your rant about that lousy rook and how you were gonna off that loser and take their ship. No? Shut up, Jazz. Both of you, cut the crap and let me talk. All right, look, I'm terrible at this crap, so I'm going to spare all of us the stupid speeches and make this short. When I took over around here, things were looking grim. We were hanging on by a thread. The only thing that kept the fleet intact was the promise that I'd find Crix's legacy and put us back on top. At the time, I was full of shit. I didn't know how the hell I was going to make that happen. And as the years passed, my words started to wear. We lost a lot of good people because they thought Dale was chasing ghosts. She's right. That thread I was talking about, it frayed. Badly. But when you found that recording on Suvorov, the hunt reignited. You gave us the courage we needed to hold fast. Now that his legacy is where it belongs, we can become the pirates Crix always meant us to be. Thanks to you. It feels extremely uncomfortable to be thanked for such a thing. Oh yeah? Well, since you think everyone around here helps so much, I'll just give them all a piece of your cut. <gasps> Dibs on the comp spike! You would go for that garbage. Me? I only want the cash. All right, let's get down to business. You want your money, and you're going to get it. A lot of it. See, now you starting to sound like me. Next thing I know, you be trying on my clothes. Won't look as good in them, though. Uh, you better not be flirting, because I might get jealous. Okay, okay, let's get this done. 
Before you head out and get drunk at the Nova, I want you to remember one thing. The fleet always comes first. There are still jobs to run, things to steal, and places to wreck. So celebrate, get wasted, then get back out there and make us some money. <laughs>